ever look in the mirror and not like what you see? I know that might happen to you, because Lord knows it happens to me. So next time your reflection makes you think you just might hurl, be glad you're not one of the ugliest animals in the world. You've been warned. There's the blobfish. It looks like it's a cross between a lump of Play-Doh and Mr. Magoo. Sitting on the ocean floor is all it knows how to do. Because you see, it, it has very few muscles, so it just lays around hoping that lunch will float by. A blobfish is lonely and lazy and understandably just a tiny bit shy. His only friend is the red-lipped fatfish. A gray pancake with a Julia Roberts pout. It staggers around on its spindly fins as it attempts to walk about. Imagine a fish with the face of a bat with giant red lips. And it can barely swim. I don't care how bad you think you look. You don't look as bad as him. Or as bad as the hagfish. It's no surprise how it got such a horrible name. It's not its shapely kisser. There's something else that is its claim to fame. In a matter of minutes, it can produce 21 quarts of slime. And it dines on corpses of dead stuff. For a hagfish, rotting whale guts is sublime. And goes beautifully with a bottle of Bully Hill Love My Goat wine. And then there's... The Dumbo octopus that lives 12,000 feet below. It can swallow prey whole, has giant suckers on its arms, and two little flippity flappers that make it go. Look, it looks like a giant balloon, like the one that took that Colorado boy for a ride. Remember? Oh, he was never in that balloon. The whole time, all he did was hide. Hide? That's what I would do if I was a... <gasps> Scottoplane. Just thinking of this creature really hurts my brain. Look at it. It's got a face only a mother could love. Such horrible things live deep down below. Lucky us living so high above. So, take another look in the mirror. Things are not that bad. You don't have the face of a bat. You're not slimy. There's no reason for you to feel sad. You're cuter than a scottoplane, and you're more intelligent than a hagfish, too. Life is grander for us on land than for those ugly creatures in the ocean blue who'd give anything, every venomous tentacled ring, to be as fun and good-looking as you. Now, there's a couple of extra animals I couldn't fit in the poem, but I want to show you because they're really cute in an ugly way. The first one, this is an ayi which I think is short for I-I-I. -I -I. And the way you make an I-I -I is you cross a bat with a rat and you let the baby be carried to term by a chihuahua. And you get yourself an I-I. -I. And now my new favorite. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this is Larry the Bucktooth Llama. The way you get Larry is you mate Lady Gaga with Carrot Top and you hire Amy Winehouse to be the surrogate mother. That's how you get Larry, the bucktooth llama. Now, looking at all these animals, don't you feel better about yourself now? Really? I mean, don't you feel better about yourself? 